Hello and welcome to whiskey.com news on the 12th of October 2020. And we have a number of very interesting news and yes, there are a lot of bottlings, but it kind of comes back to the normal pace and the normal news. So first up, we have a new distillery like we have every year, a week. Uh, it's called the Wood Craig Distillery and it is planned in Stirling. Stirling is a fairly big city for Scotland um, between Glasgow and Edinburgh. I've been driving through that quite a lot and uh, they want to build the distillery uh, of Wolf Craig there. The founder is the former CEO of uh, White and McKay and it will cost about 15 million pounds. It will start building in the spring 2021 and it will finish in summer 2022 and will open then. And with the CEO of White & McKay, a former CEO of White & McKay doing that, I'm pretty sure it will be a success because he probably knows a lot about the whiskey business and how to handle things. Then we have new bottlings from Glen Allerkey. Uh, they bring out three new bottlings and they bring it out in a series of virgin oak. Yeah, um, they are all 48% ABV, all 12 years old, and they are all finished for one year in different casks. The first cask is a French virgin oak. Next one is the Spanish virgin oak. And the last one is the Qu uh, Chin Quapin virgin oak. I'm not quite sure what that is, but it's an American oak and it's said to be very difficult to make casks or barrels out of it. And that's why it's probably not used as much. Um, but I'm hoping that I will get that here on my cask because that sounds really interesting. Yeah, next up we have Glengoyne. They're doing a new design for their bottlings. So for all their bottles and they are keeping uh, sticking to the slogan unhurried since 1833. They're also uh, going a bit into like environmentalism and uh, yeah, they are really emphasizing the importance of time and they're all doing it with recycling material and yeah, everything will be really green. So yeah, good, good for them. And let's have a look at the bottles in the future. Next up are two new bottlings from Tobomori and Bonahaben. It's the Tobomori 23 years old and the Bonahaben 30 years old. Both are 46.3% ABV, limited, yeah, of course, non-chill filtered and not colored. And yeah, they are pretty good whiskies probably. Then we have another distillery that is being announced that will be built. It's called the Eight Doors Distillery and it will be the most northern Scottish distillery on the Isle of Great Britain. Yeah, on the Scottish mainland, the most northern distillery. For long years that has been Pultenay or for some of them Old Pultenay. Currently it's the Wolfburn Distillery and then it will be the Eight Doors Distillery. The Eight Doors is um, stands for the the story of John O'Groats who built a house with an eight um, cornered table and for him him for himself and his seven sons and it was uh, had eight doors in this house and it represented that they are all equal on the same level because uh, back in the days it was really really important where people and the table sat and where you sit uh, showed them if you were in charge or if you were um, just a regular guy. If you were facing the door, you were the boss. If you had the door in your back, you were the low guys. Everything in between was just the, uh, yeah, the ranking. So he had everybody with a door in their back, the door in their front, so everybody was on the same level. Yeah, but enough on that. Let's move on to Bowmore. Bowmore is revealing their 30 year old edition. Yeah, they want to bring out a yearly 30 year old edition. The first one starts with 2,850 bottles, 45.3% 45 ABV and highly limited. Yeah, to 2,850 bottles. 
Then we have another limited bottling from Balvini, and they are bringing out their they bring out this seventh batch for the 1509 series. The 1509 series is also called the ton 1509 because they have a ton, it's called 1509, and they married these bar barrels together. This time it's 21 casks with a combined ABV of 52.4% ABV, ABV, no chill filtration, and yeah should be available in the next weeks or already. Um, then we move to Ireland, to Teeling. And Teeling brings out their second bottling ever and also their first smoky peaty bottling. Yes, Irish whiskey doesn't do that peaty smoky thing very often, but Teeling did that and they call it the Black Pits. The Black Pits was an area in Dublin and it was right next to the Liberty Market. And in this area, there were really big maltings going on. They got the grain from the Liberty Markets and made malt out of it. And back in the days, they all did it with peat. And with that, there's a lot of smoke and a lot of, yeah, black things going on. And probably all the buildings around that area were really black of that smokes and hence the district was called Black Pits. The Black Pits bottling was matured in ex bourbon barrels and sotan casks, has 46% ABV and was not chill filtered. Then we stay in Ireland and we go to the Waterford Distillery. The Waterford Distillery is revealing their first Irish organic whiskey. It's called Waterford Bio. Gaia 1.1. At least that's what it's being called in Germany. I'm not quite, quite sure. Maybe in other countries they call it Waterford Ga uh, Organic Gaia 1.1. Not quite sure about that one. Write it down in the comments if you see that around in your country. It has 50% ABV, no color, no chill filtration, and it will be available in uh, mid-October. Then we have news from Tennessee. It's from Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels has a new master distiller. And by new, I mean uh, the next guy just stepped up. Uh, his name is Chris Fletcher. I had him for an interview at the distillery, my distillery tour back in 2015. Back in the day, he was a bit younger, but five years younger, but he was already a really, really, yeah, knowledgeable guy he knew all about the jack daniels whiskey his grandfather was also already the uh, master distiller so he grew up and into that business and yeah so he's not really new to the distillery but he is now the master distillery and therefore the new master distiller then we come to the international market there's a new distillery that has been opened yeah it is the worldwide highest distillery and it's called Orma. It was opened on the Korvach. Korvach is a, is a mountain in the Bündner uh, Alps, which is in Switzerland, and it is uh, 3,303 meters above the sea level. Uh, it was opened on the 5th of October and it will uh, provide visitors tours at the end of the year or near the end of the year. Hopefully I will visit that, uh, this as well, but maybe if I'm really fit and I can walk up to there, otherwise you have to take a cable car. So yeah, that was it. it was quite extensive news. So thank you very much for watching and see you next week.